Hello and welcome to the video lecture on union queries. Um, so just to explain what's going on with a union query, uh, what we want to do, uh, or there is a need to be able to take two record sets, two or more record sets, and for all intents and purposes stack them on top of each other, uh, combine them directly. Um, up until this point we've done um, you know, queries where we're joining the tables, what we would say horizontally, right? We're, we're linking primary keys and foreign keys, and we're putting the record sets side by side. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is we want to put things, or we want to mine things vertically. Uh, in other words, we want to stack uh, one record set's information on top of another record set's information. Uh, something like this would be, um, I want to show all of my salespeople uh, and all of my customers together in one list so I can see all of the people involved in my organization. Something along those lines. Um, so here, uh, what we're doing, uh, the example that's here uh, is what the author, the author is putting together uh, information uh, from a multi-table join. Uh, and again, the, the author in this example is using the cross-product uh, style. Um, the author is, is uh, using the customer order and order line table uh, in the first query and combining that uh, with the customer information um, from the bottom. And uh, what this is doing is you, you can see and uh, there's actually a subquery in here uh, select max order quantity from order line is being compared to uh, the ordered quantity. Uh, so in that case, we're looking for uh, the order that's associated with the highest order quantity, uh, which could be multiple orders, right? If we've got uh, the max ordered quantity is 50, but 50 things were ordered in 10 different orders, we're going to get all of those back. And then the second query is looking for all of the ordered quantities associated with the minimum ordered quantity, um, which could be zero, um, hopefully it's not, uh, but it could be. Uh, so, um, we'll, what would happen is we use the union keyword, right here where it says combine, we use the union keyword uh, to put these two record sets together. So this record set is gonna run, it's gonna gather up your customer ID, customer name, ordered quantity, um, and the largest quantity as quantity. Um, and then it's gonna combine that with the minimum. And again, the smallest quantity, see that these are string literals, largest quantity as quantity, and then in the second query, smallest quantity. Uh, you'll notice that in the first select statement, uh, we are aliasing a column. Uh, one of the rules associated with union queries, so there are three basic uh, rules associated with union queries. Union queries, uh, the two queries, or the all of the queries involved in the union must be physically uh, similar. Uh, so in this case you can see that they have the same number of columns involved and those columns are of similar data types. So far so good. Uh, the second rule is that if you are going to do any aliasing to any of your columns you have to do it in the first query. And then the last uh, rule uh, is the order by clause. The order by clause, if you're going to sort uh, the result set after all of these record sets are union together, if you're going to sort them and put them in some kind of an order, you have to, you, the order by clause has to be at the end of the last query. In this case, it's the second query. And you'll notice that the order by clause uh, uses the number three. And that three is the index of the column that is to be ordered. So in this case, it is sorting on the ordered quantity. Um, so let's just take a look at what happens, um, a little closer look. So uh, you'll see that the first query is processed first. Uh, it gathers uh, the data associated with that and it uh, aliases the fourth column. Uh, that is a string literal, so it's literally going to show largest quantity. Um, then the select statement uh, of the second query is run uh, and the same process is followed and then they are just uh, stacked one on top of the other. Um, 
think I have a, a picture of this. So, uh, nope, actually that's not a good picture of that. So that's pretty much uh, what a union query does. Uh, that's the logic of how it works and that is why you would use it. So that is the end of my video lecture on union queries.